So the homeless crisis in our country has gone from bad to worse in hundreds of towns and cities. Hundreds of thousands of people are without a roof under their head. This week, cross country hit the ground in San Diego, where a short term band-aid have failed the city and they're in desperate need of a solution. But there may be a groundbreaking answer. Watch. The homeless crisis in America is out of control. The latest numbers from our federal government estimates nearly 600,000 individuals experience homelessness in the U.S. on any given night. And nowhere is this crisis more apparent than in California. The feds estimate California has nearly a third of the nation's homeless individuals. Once sparkling cities like San Diego confronted by tents, needles, and trash. Michael Branch is a former Navy SEAL who operates the East County Transitional Living Center an area shelter currently housing some 600 homeless and transitioning them back into employment and independent living. People on the street, there's open beds. You're waiting to be able to help people. What, what, what prevents them from coming here? So one of the things uh, I believe that uh, prevents people is that this is a program that requires people to help themselves. We decided to hit the streets to see the problem firsthand and what's being compared to a new skid row here in San Diego. You know, one thing I always notice when I come out here is that you see the problem and you see all these services that are, that are offered out here. Right. And so, so there's a choice right, right here. So what is it going to take to get folks treatment yeah. off the street? Well, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, sometimes consequence drives behavior change. Mm. So if there is no consequence, uh, a lot of times folks aren't uh, motivated enough to change. But a lot of times if you end up uh, in jail or prison or homeless, you, you would think would be one of the things that would drive someone to get some help. Uh, but essentially there's no, you know, the carrot and the stick. It seems like there's more carrot and not enough stick. And with shelters across the country overflowing and so far empty promises from the White House to reduce homelessness by 25 percent in the next two years. There is at least one group proposing a new real world fix to this big picture problem. It's called Sunbreak Ranch, and its creators want to give San Diego homeless temporary shelter, as well as provide social services for mental health, drug rehabilitation, and vocational training, in hopes of getting people off the street for good. George Molin and Brian Castor brought us to the ranch to explain. Gentlemen, tell me, where are we right here? Here is all Miramar land, as far as you can see, federal land, and uh, basically unused, and, but we have a use for it. And what is that use? Well, ultimately, we want to develop a location solution to help our homeless brothers and sisters, a place where all the homeless in San Diego City and County can come to where we can help them turn around their lives. It's meant to be a transition place, a triage, if you will, to get them back into independent living. There'll be food kitchen, there'll be a mess hall, there'll be women's center, there'll be storage facility, there'll be a dog pound, You'd be gardening, it'd be all the things that are needed. But the whole idea here is to centralize the homeless so all the providers are there to help them get out of here to where they need to be. But in order to get the ranch up and running and serving this community, George and Brian are calling on the federal government for support. We need them to say, hey, we're President Biden say, we're going to lease you 2,000 acres of that unused, spectacular land as a federal homeless emergency zone. And what we want to do is we want to get several big philanthropists, a big foundation, to say we're going to put up $275 million for a three-year beta test to do this in San Diego. And if it works, then the federal government agrees that they start picking up the Sunbreak Ranch concept outside of every city. So you've heard what the folks at Sunbreak Ranch need. We reached out to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development to get a response to their re proposal. We didn't hear back. But you can learn more about the Sunbreak's effort at sunbreakranch.com. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.